very good morning students uh, today we are going to find out uh, efficiency and regulation from oc and ac test and uh, the problem given problem is 10 kva 440 bar 220 volt single phase transformer has the oc test and sc test values and using this test data we have to find out efficiency and regulation uh, at power factor 0.8 lagging so generally oc test gives us iron loss and sc test gives us copper loss uh, in this problem the uh, given data is 10 kva transformer uh, this is primary and secondary voltage oc test and sc test is given both are conducted on the high voltage set correct then we have to find out the here uh, the efficiency and voltage regulation at 0.8 power factor lagging so first we will find out efficiency uh, so we know formula for efficiency so formula for efficiency is first case correct first case efficiency is equal to n into va rating as usual you know n into va rating multiplied by cos phi divided by n into va rating multiplied by cos phi plus ion loss plus copper loss this is full load copper loss n square into full load copper loss correct this is the formula for efficiency now it is uh, in the problem it is uh, not specified uh, any partial load so which means we have to consider n is equal to 1 so remaining thing everything we are having you have to substitute just substitute so what you get here n value is 1 you take n value as 1 so what you get here uh, va rating 10 into 10 power 3 10 kva so i am i am giving this as 10 into 10 power 3 uh, 0.8 power factor is given as 0.8 the same thing is to be considered for the denominator also 10 into 10 power 3 uh, multiplied by 0.8 and iron loss and copper loss are to be taken from the um, oc and sc test oc test gives you the iron loss sc test gives you the copper loss so 100 and 130 watt so now this is 100 plus n square n square is i already told it's a 1 so n value is 1 so we can take directly as 130 okay so we have to find out percentage of efficiency so percentage of efficiency means you have to multiply it by 100 therefore by simplifying this we will get percentage of efficiency is equal to uh, 97.2 percentage now we have found out um, efficiency the next thing is we have to find out voltage regulation correct the voltage regulation formula for voltage regulation is um, voltage regulation formula is percentage of r is equal to i1 r not 1 cos phi plus or minus i1 x naught 1 sin phi divided by v1 multiplied by 100 as i have given a percentage you know so it is multiplied by 100 we know already va rating is equal to uh, v1 i1 from this we are able to find out uh, i1 value va rating is 10 kv and v1 is uh, 440 volt we are able to find out i1 from this data v1 is this one 440 volt now v1 is equal to uh, 440 volt correct so 440 multiplied by i1 okay from this we can find out i1 is equal to 10 into 10 power 3 divided by 440 volt so if you substitute this uh, you will get the amps as 22.7 amps so i1 value is 22.7 amps uh, from sc test again we can find out from sc test r01 and x01 can be found out we know uh, the sc test gives copper loss correct so watt meter reading it uh, for SC test is 130 watt which is equal to copper loss correct so copper loss is equal to from SC test we can take this as 130 watt we know again the formula for copper loss copper loss is equal to I1 square R01 
which is equal to 130. So from this we can find out R01 is equal to 130 divided by I1 square. So we have to substitute I1 square value. 130 divided by I1 is 22.7 the whole square. So the answer for this is 0.25 ohm. So we have found out now R01 is equal to 0.25 ohm okay 0.25 ohm then similarly we know z01 is equal to vac short circuit voltage divided by this one z01 is equal to vac divided by i1 so short circuit voltage is given as 20 volt and i1 is 22.7 if you substitute this value will get 0.88 ohm. So Z01, I am getting Z01 as uh, 0.88 ohm. So then we know uh, Z01 is equal to, okay, Z01, the formula for Z01 is equal to by impedance triangle correct r01 square plus x01 square we can write like this now we know z01 and r01 from this we are able to find out x01 so how will you find out now x01 is equal to okay square root of z01 whole square minus r01 whole square then uh, you have to substitute the values z01 0.88 whole square minus r01 value is 0.25 the whole square if you substitute this we will get this as 0 0.84 ohm this is x01 so now we have found out r01 let's see we have we, we know r01 value x01 value i1 value to go for the voltage regulation formula uh, now we know the values of i1 R01 from the R01, X01, V1. Correct? Only thing is cos phi. So it is given in the problem itself. Cos phi is equal to 0 0.8 power, uh, correct? 0 0.8 uh, lagging. Okay. So for lagging, now we have to select uh, plus sign. Plus sign for uh, lagging. Negative sign for leading. So this is for leading. Negative sign. So we have, we'll take I'll substitute cos phi is equal to cos phi is equal to 0 0.8. Uh, if you do it phi is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.8, then if you take sin phi, its value will be 0 0.6. Now we have found out sin phi as well as cos phi. Correct? And then just substituting this formula, we know percentage of uh, R is equal to i1 value what we have got is 22.7 correct multiplied by r01 value is 0.25 cos phi value is 0.6 so first term over second we have to put plus because it is lagging power factor so again i1 i1 is 22.7 multiplied by x01 value x01 value is 0.84 multiplied by sin phi value is 0 0.6 divided by v1 v1 is nothing but primary voltage uh, the primary voltage from the uh, problem given problem we can take it as 440 correct so substituting this uh, we'll get multiplied by 100 this is for uh, percentage of regulation correct substituting this we'll get 3.63 percentage 3.63 3 percentage is percentage of regulation. Okay. Thank you all.